Hey, hey, YouTube world, that's another video from your friendly neighborhood goat. <clears throat> Today we're going to uh, work on a 3D model, or not really model, but 3D printing off a ITX case. I have done three of these cases now, and this is the case right here. It's a mini ITX case. Pretty simple to print off. Uh, I just used the basic settings that this guy here has been running. I modify stuff a little bit because I don't use the 0.15 resolution. I use 0.2. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And um, I have a couple different printers. I use a uh, I use the Ender 3, and I also have a CR10S Pro, which has a much larger bed. Uh, today I'm just going to work off of the Pro, the CR10 Pro, and I can print multiple pieces of this case. So, anyways, this is the case. Um, this from Thingverse, uh, this guy that created the file, he did a pretty good job on this case. Uh, there's a few things that I wish he would have done a little differently, but other than that, it's just some minor stuff. Uh, one of the things that I wish he would have done differently would put screw holes on the top, top of the case, and maybe made the top of the case a little bit thicker. But other than that, I mean, that's probably my only, only uh, uh, gripe about the case. Oh well, and actually, adding a second uh, power supply support with screw holes and stuff. So I actually print off two of those and I modify. The second one for my to hold the power supply in a little better, and I wrap it with a zip tie to keep it in there tight when I put one together. But it does just minor stuff, minor minor stuff. So what we're gonna do? Get us back over here. We come up here to my file, and these are all the pieces and parts that you need to build a print off. But today we're going to work on the. I want the back spine. I want a middle spine and I want power supply bracket. So we got four parts. Now I know from experience that I can print off all these parts. So I need to multiply this. I need one another one of those. Uh whoops, I messed up. Uh, delete to selected. Here we go. Multiply one of those. Okay, now I got two of those. Now, like I said, I know from experience that I put this over here and I put this one over there. I'm going to put you right up here in the corner and I put you over here. And there we go. That's the advantages of having a, a little larger print surface. Printing. Uh, there we go. Now, that's the print right there. So, this right here, this piece right here is the back. <clears throat> this right here is the cutout for the motherboard back plate. This is the cutout for your GPU. This is where your power supply plug goes into. This bracket here and this bracket here, I use those are used for to hold the power supply in place. And this piece right here is the center spine. And I use resolution 0.2. I just basically go through the um, the just stock settings for the most part with Kira. I've had really good luck with it. I've tinkered around a little bit with some of the settings. Uh, I, <clears throat> because of the filament that I use, I'll go ahead and bump the temperature up a little bit and a little extra heat on the bed bed surface. But other than that, that's it. I haven't changed anything uh, with the 
standard settings that Kira comes up with. So we'll slice it. And it's telling me 22 hours and 17 minutes to print this one print. Now, I know from experience to print this off, I'm looking at uh, approximately 100 hours worth of print time to get this case done. Like I said, I've done three of these. Uh, one of them, let me find, uh, actually I have them all listed on PC Part Picker. So let me find my page. Give me just a second here. New link. New link. I'll have these links in the description if you want to look at them. Um, they're pretty easy to find. <clears throat> like I said, this is the same case that I printed off for uh, Red Panda when I shipped him the ITX case. And also the same case. I did, I did the same same case, same build for uh, MC Orley over at Mining Chamber. And like I said, it's pretty simple, pretty simple little build. Uh, matter of fact, right there is my my big print. I did that one a little bit differently. Uh, actually, I guess I can add that stuff and I'll, I'll, I'll do that too. But <clears throat> pretty Pretty intriguing little system. I mean, if you want something different, like I said, they're, some of the filament they have out there now, you can get uh, glow-in-the-dark filament. And you can get uh, blue, green, red. I think what else was there? A translucent filament, which I, that's what I ended up using on the uh, on some of the side panels. This is, one that, this is the very first one I did. This is my OG one. I got impatient and I didn't want to wait for the filament to show up, so I printed the whole thing out of orange and then I took it out and painted it this uh, copper distressed paint. Kind of gives us this little kind of cool little finish on it. it this is system here is an i5 uh, 1660 Super. A nice little system. My son uses it a little bit for gaming and stuff like that, doing schoolwork. But, anyways. We'll get back over here to this, <clears throat> and while we're here, I almost forgot, I can add um, I need uh, oh, that's the extended ones I need this I need that Put you over there, and I actually need two of these. Just multiply one. Let me put you over there. I need one of those. Let me put you over here. There we go. That'd be a good little print. Let's see what this says time now. Probably add another hour to it. Almost 24 hours now, so a little over an hour added to it. A couple extra parts. That's the advantage of having one of these, having a bigger printer. Uh, I'll have a link in the description for the printers that I have, the ones that I use. But like I said, I, I have two of them. I started off with the, with the little small one, but I was real limited on what I can and can't print with it. Uh, I did one of these ITX cases on my little one, and it would barely fit I, the the guy that created this file or created this case it was made to print on the little small printer and it used every every millimeter of that build surface so to get the side panels and stuff printed on it but 
All right, well, that pretty much wraps it up. I got that. I can save it to my removable drive, which saving, eject, and that's it. I'm ready to send this over to the printer. So I will stop this right here and I'll be at the printer in just a minute. See you guys at the printer. All right, well, now we're over here at the printer. Uh, if you, so as you can tell, uh, this is my CR10 Pro. You know, you can see how how much bigger the bed, how large the bed surface is. Over here is my my Ender 3. It's a 200 millimeter or 200 millimeter build surface. Uh, maximum height, uh, I think it's like 220, something like that, if I remember right. But over here on on the CR10 Pro, that's a 300 by 300 build surface. Uh, maximum height is 400 millimeters. You know, so it'll It'll build quite quite tall, uh, not quite so tall as, as it could. I have my filament roll off to the side because I didn't like it sticking out all the way up on top, and it allows the filament to feed into the uh, feeder servo a little smoother. Uh, this CR10 Pro comes with the uh, Bowden tube and the upgraded. Uh, uh, connectors and stuff like that so it's actually a really nice little printer so what we'll do is we'll insert our, our memory card for our ITX build flip the switch turn it on and she'll fire up makes a little noise that's it uh, bed should already be leveled. I hope we'll find out, anyways. So we'll hit print. I want um, I want Fang ITX and print, and that's it. All the settings are already done, so theoretically, it should print all by itself it'll get up the temperature 55 degrees on the bed 210 degrees on over on the nozzle it'll go through this one uh, the CR10 Pro comes with a automatic leveler so it will go across the bed and it'll level in like 25 locations on the bed surface and automatically adjust everything so alrighty well 24 hours we will come back and we will see what we shall have hopefully we'll have a successful print all right space goats out